Hi, and welcome to Sarawak. My aunt on my wife's side recently asked me to make her some mahjong racks. This is where you place the mahjong tiles similar as you would with a set of dominoes or something like that. Now, a mahjong rack has to be able to be used, apparently, to line up the tiles in a certain way by pushing the rack into it or something like that. Either way, it has to be wide so you can place the tiles here and have them up right there. So I spent a bit of time trying to work out the cutting angles using some scrap wood and how I could get it to, to form together to be what it needed to be. And after a while I settled on a slight modification to this, but just to bring that further forward and leave a bit more space at the end and have it laminated between two different pieces of wood to give a little bit of a lip on either side to hold the tiles in place. So, easier done by just gluing two appropriate size strips on either side of it. So, the wood that I'm going to be using is fairly typical pine. This was just a 2x4 that I milled down to the size. And so most people will know about pine. But this one that I used for the stripping on the side is a wood called Nibong. So this is Nibong. Now, Nibong is a palm, and while you might not be familiar with certainly the name of the wood, or even what it looks like like this, you might be familiar with some of the products that is made from it. A lot of the salad forks and spoons that you get are made from Nibong, and I'll try and find a photo to put here, I guess. Um, but Nibong is incredibly rot resistant. It is very strong stuff and this is like four mil thick and there is no way that I'm going to be able to break that by just using my fingers I would have to get a real good real good grip on that to go very rot resistant very hard very strong but not very much used outside of novelty salad forks and the reason for that is unfortunately Nibong only grows about 15 centimeters wide so any planks you get out of it gonna be a most about that big so it doesn't really leave a lot to do with it except for decorative pieces and long thin things that like spoons and forks for salad. So that's about all it gets used for, but it is beautiful wood, interesting wood. If you just cut it and leave it in a palm shape, they're great for support materials, for fencing, particularly in high salt regions. They are very resistant to salt water. So if you were to make a boat out of it, or something like that it would last a long time and that's what a lot of people use them for for salt water areas so they grow abundantly pretty quickly in the tropical regions so Malaysia Singapore Philippines that sort of area but it's certainly an interesting wood it's also very light so strong and light but a lot of palm is light anyway kind of cool stuff i'll show you how i did it
So, we have here the finished product. The pine has some of that natural grey in it, which is a nice sort of contrast, which is good. I like that. As with most of the pine you get, it has the beautiful grain lines in it. But I think the real appeal of this piece is definitely in the Nibong. And I'm glad that I, I chose to use that for, for this project. It is gorgeous. With some nice varnish on it. Reflects beautifully. And it's smooth, which if you're dealing with palm, palm is kind of rough and prone to splintering, particularly as it gets older. And so definitely having the, the varnish on it has made a lot of difference in that and I managed to get the the V cuts to line up nicely so I'm quite pleased with that I think she'll be pretty happy with them and I'll do a few close-up pictures of this to put up after this so you'll be able to see there it is I made four I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even learnt something. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. In the meantime, have fun making things.